Hello everybody and welcome to the ninth video in my beginner C++ tutorial series. So in this video we're going to really start getting into the fun stuff and uh, talking about functions and methods. So I know it's going to take up at least this video and then in the next video I plan on doing a little project which will be pretty fun. And uh, then the video after that where I will hopefully be able to finish up uh, functions and methods. So let's start this off with a little discussion on the difference between functions and methods. Everybody has you know, a differing point of view, as with everything in technology, as to what the difference is between a function and a method. And most of the time they're used interchangeably. But in my opinion, I think really the only big difference is that methods are so usually associated with an object and usually operate on data from that object, whereas a function is not associated with an object. But that aside, let's get into uh, making some functions here. So for a function or a method, you really need you know four things you need to declare a return type the name the parameters and then the body so since if you don't want it to return anything which in this case I don't you use void and then I'll just name it a function and I also don't want to pass any parameters so I leave the parentheses blank and then here's our body so for this simple function here we'll just have it print out this came from the function so now in order to call this function down in main really the only thing we have to do is just call it by name so we just say a function. Save it and run it. And there you go. It's really that easy when you have a function in here when working inside the same file as main. But if any of you have seen code snippets or anything like that of C++ where they have functions inside the same file as main, you'll probably notice that usually they put them down here below main which is I found generally a good idea because it, it's better organized if you have to put functions inside the same file as main so we'll cut that out and put it down here and while the compiler doesn't immediately flag anything it still won't run if we try to run it yeah, see. And this is because when it hits this function call, it doesn't know what this function is yet because it hasn't gotten to this code. So it gets to the call before it actually gets to the function code. So in order to remedy this, we have to put what's called a prototype up here. So a prototype just basically lets it know that this function exists and you know it's down there somewhere and a function prototype is basically like your function definition except without the body so we would just have to put void a function and there you have a prototype so if we save it and run it as you can see it now works So the next thing we're going to do here is actually return a value. At, we'll pass in parameters and return a value. So what we want to return here is an integer. So we'll put int here. And we all also want to, let's change this to add, because we're going to be adding. Pass in two parameters to add together to get our return value. 
So we'll have int A and int B. And get rid of that. And we will return A plus B. And since we changed this, we also have to change it in our prototype up here. And you also have to include your parameters in your prototype. Okay, so let's call it here. And for parameters, we'll just pass in 5 and 5. Well, actually, here, let's store it in a variable as well. Just to make it easier here. And then print it out. So let's save it and run it. And as expected, we got 10. So what's happening here is we're saying that we want to return an int integer type, and we are passing in two integer types as well. And you don't, of course, have to name these A and B. You can name them whatever you want, just like any other variable. These are just aliases to use inside of the function so that your code is reusable. And that's kind of the whole goal of having functions and methods and you know, classes is to make reusable code. And I mean that's you know really the basics of functions and methods right there. And probably about as in-depth as I'll go in this tutorial but in the next tutorial we will be doing a pretty neat project uh, making a command line calculator that adds and subtracts and multiplies and uh, all that good fun stuff so <clears throat> if you like this video of course give it a thumbs up and subscribe or you can also follow us on twitter at we are Codoclism. and i would like to thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next tutorial